It's Monday, July 17th. It's 11.51. I just picked up my first order. And we'll see how this mid-summer gig working day goes. It's hot. The air's thick. But I really don't want to stay in all day in air conditioning and work online. I want to be around people and I want to be offline. So here we go. I've never seen one of these. DoorDash has been in Long Island for going on five years. I've never seen anyone with, with a DoorDash sign on top of their car. I have the ice cream. I picked up ice cream. So I have ice in here, a big chunk of blue ice. And I have two chunks of ice in here. You know, ice packs. I'm going to place this one on top and one on bottom. You have to have ice with you in the summer. In the summer if you're going to deliver perishables, right? More than half of these products and bags are not labeled. I have to look at the list when I get to the drop-offs. They just put this here to close it. There's no label on these, these, this, a bag, this bag. I have a bag in the middle. I don't know whose that is, so I have to look at the lists when I get there. And that's very unfair to the drivers because all of these should be labeled. Every one of them. I don't mind being a team player. I had to go into the store, which I didn't mind because she was coming on her way out. And when I got in there, she said, you could start scanning. But like I showed you, half the products are not labeled. And I got bags that don't have labels on them. So at least it's, it's a... It's two drop-offs in Levittown. It's only 2.6 miles away. But I have to make sure I check every one of those off. You know, like, even though I'm not scanning the label, I have to look on the list now to make sure that each customer are receiving their products. And I'll see if some something's missing. That, yeah, I'll see if something's missing. We'll soon see. Here is an example why you must review the list when you are given a cart with 80% of the products not labeled. Not even the bags, there's two bags that are labeled. Okay, three. Okay, so I have the popcorn, the applesauce, the milk, the creamer, and all the, they, they are the sodas, okay, got it. The mayo is in a bag. That wasn't labeled either, the burner, double burner. Whitening toothpaste, that's what that bag's for, for this order, got it. I just scanned one label and I am still going through the stuff, stifling through the stuff, you know, to confirm that I'm giving the customer the right product. I scanned one label and it says four out of four. That's not true. I look forward to the lazy days of summer next year when I have passive income rolling in, soaking wet, 10 minutes. Took me eight minutes. I can see why Walmart, wow, thanks for the dollar tip. It just keeps getting worse. I, I, am, I will support Walmart with their artificial intelligence, with performing certain tasks because if that's what an outsider has to do, that's not even working for the store. I mean, I don't work for the store, but I'm, I still wanna make sure that the customer get the products that they ordered. You know, if workers aren't even taking the time to label each item, if you're just gonna throw items in a cart and use a few tags, I mean, I scanned one label, it said I scanned four. That's not true. Far from it. Set, set it up where you have people at the end taking the prepared orders, just going to grab the produce and uh, the produce really. Uh, not all Walmarts have delis around here. I don't think so. And package them up and put them in a bin and let us pick it up and have everything labeled. Let the artificial intelligence grab it from the warehouse set up 
put the label on it and just have the people get it to the, you know, confirm the order and get it to the bin. Because if that's how it's done, that's not good. Last week that happened to me, I went inside. However, the Levittown Walmart, every item had a label on it. You have to do that. So, I'm on my way home. I'm dropping this back off at the store. I did think about this when I was stifling through. Is that the word? Stifling through? You know what I mean. Going through all the products, and I have this in the back seat on a, um, a case of soda, and I forgot. So I'm in touch with Spark, and their chat is great. However, they couldn't supply the street name. I remembered the number. They were only five minutes apart but it's in an area I'm not familiar, well, I'm not really familiar with, and I couldn't remember. So I'm passing the store on the way home. I'm calling it a day. Cause now I have to drive this back, drop this back and there's no label on it, no nothing. You know, it wasn't in a bag, there's no label on it. That's why when I picked up at the food store last week, the Walmart food market, every item in that cart, maybe, you know, everything wasn't in a bag, but every item had a label on it. You have to do that. If you're gonna scan every one, you have to do it. And, and I scanned every single product in the cart. So I'm gonna drop that off, call it a day. Make sure to visit myincomejob.com, the place to visit to learn how to earn money offline and online.